Don't right. shoot me. I'm just gonna shoot you. Don't shoot me. I just, if you want me, me to go to jail, I'll go to jail. Just don't shoot me, please. Dispatch advised that the Missouri State Highway Patrol had a vehicle at the side of the road involved with a one-car collision. By the time we caught up to the vehicle, uh, the front right tire was already shredded down to the rim. Sparks were flying. Uh, the vehicle was pretty much disabled at the point, but the, uh, the subject continued on. <laughs> Stay up there, stay up there. I got no weapons. I'll go with you, I'll go with you. I got no weapons, no weapons at all. I'm sorry, just don't shoot me, please, for the love of God. I'm sorry, and I'll pay for my crimes. Just don't, don't execute hey. me here. Officer Duke and I uh, assisted keeping him down on the ground until he was taken into custody by the trooper. While that was going on, the female on the front step, who turned out to be the fiance, was screaming, yelling to get off him, not to hurt him. At that point, we didn't know who she was. She was told several times to get back inside the, uh, the apartment complex, uh, but she just refused to do so. At the point we made contact with the subject, he was clearly impaired by what appeared to be alcohol, by the odor stemming from his breath and his body. Eventually, we were able to uh, get him under control and escort him back to my patrol vehicle, where he continued to make very unusual remarks and comments. Who gives a about me? The lady out here was the girlfriend. And what's the, what's the point? You know, there's always something to live for. <laughs> no, there's not. Driving like that and putting yourself in danger and off. I thought, I thought that maybe one of you guys, yeah, maybe you can shoot man, me. That could have been a kid. Innocent citizens, kids. Well, this, this time at night, I mean. This, They're this, out this time at night also. The statistics, the statistics of a three to five year old kid being out in the street in the middle. Where'd you get those stats from? Okay. No, you guys know better. I don't care anymore. On a good note, there was, there was a pursuit. It never got to high speeds and there was no one else involved. He didn't strike anyone, nobody was injured. Although the subject was belligerently drunk, he did show remorse for having caused the incident and accepted the uh, responsibility that he was impaired and, and ran from the police, but he was remorseful for, for having done so and was very happy that he didn't hurt anybody in the process.